Hey guys, uh, I'm Chuang. Thanks for dropping by my channel, Do More. Now, of course, Do More, as you uh, am aware, uh, it's all about entrepreneurship, investment, and being the best person that you can be. So today, I talked to this guy called Pang Ziming. He's your typical SME uh, businessman. He runs and uh, his own uh, healthcare marketing services company called EP Plus. He's been in business over 20 years, and I, I think he was very uh, open and very forthright with his with his comments about a lot of things, whether it's in investment, whether it's in his business, with his children, even with his wife. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I liked making it with him. And if you like it, please share it and comment below and uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Pang Ziming, Hi. founder, CEO of EP Plus. Yes. Uh, I know you because of the Vistage uh, conference, right? Yes. And then when I got to know your business, to yes. doing some research and trying to understand what you do, I yes. found it very interesting. Yes. You are that typical SME guy that yes. does amazing things, yes. very profitable, 20, 20 25 years yes. in business. Just put your head down, concentrate on building the business uh -huh. and... Um, to the world at large, they don't know who EP Plus is. They don't know who Pang Ziming is, right? Okay. So SMEs drive 65 to 75% of the economy the in economy, Malaysia. Yeah. Around the world, always, right? Yes. Family-owned businesses. Yes. So I thought it's very interesting to talk to you yes. and understand how you started your business and how you got to where you are today. Healthcare okay. marketing, but back in the 20 years ago, right? Okay. 20, 25 22 years, years, ago. years ago. 22 years 22 ago. 22 years ago. 22 yeah, years ago. 1,000 square foot yeah, we Office got 100. units, 100 square foot unit, <laughs> four staff or yes, something, you yes. and your wife, right? Yes, yes. So let's start at the start. Tell me what happened. Uh, EP Plus Group is one of the, the largest uh, healthcare marketing company in, uh, in the country. Currently, we are representing about uh, 16 to 17 uh, European uh, uh, healthcare companies. So it started in 1997. So you wanted to know how it started, ah, how right? How did it start? How it started, right? Yeah, yeah. I think maybe I got to go back a bit uh, to talk a bit about um, myself. Yeah, I come from a middle income family. My <laughs> my dad were teachers, were teaching. Yeah, and parents la. Parents. My parents okay. were teachers, but my mum retired a uh, uh, long time ago when they we have, there are five in the family, right? So when my parents had the third kid, um, you know, uh, third, my th third brother. So my mom uh, stopped working. Only my dad is the sole uh, breadwinner wow. in the family. Yeah, and uh, you know, being a teacher, uh, we have food on the table. But uh, you know, at a very young age, uh, I get to see, you know, the difference between my friends come from a well-to-do family. So I get to see the difference between the haves and have not, right? And uh, also, you know, I did quite well in my form five, my form six, but. My friends, they managed to further their studies uh, overseas, you know, go to US, go to uh, Australia, go to uh, UK, but I got to stay back <laughs> to yeah. do my Form 6. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's how it started, I think, um, you know, the motivation to, to earn money, right? And uh, so at last I got myself uh, enrolled into uh, USM. Uh, University of Science Malaysia into in Penang. the in, in Penang, yeah, okay. the pharmacy school. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when I was second or third year in the university, uh, I have uh, chart up my career path and also decided on my my career goal as well. You know, uh, during my third year, I've decided I need to have something on my own, um, which is uh, to set my own uh, pharmaceutical uh, company. And in fact, I even uh, charted out, uh, you know, what are the skill set I need to acquire uh, in order to start a pharmaceutical company. That was second or third year so in the university. A long, long time ago. Even in university, you realize yes. that A, you wanted to be an entrepreneur. Yes. And B, you wanted a pharmaceutical company. Yes, pharmaceutical which is company. exactly what you're doing now. Yes. How yeah. did you come to those realizations? Uh, I spent a lot of time talking to my seniors, and uh, they are the one who gave me the idea. You know, being a pharmacist. Uh, there are not many choices, right? Uh, options when it comes to the uh, career path, and uh, I decided not to venture into retail because uh, retail is very uh, passive in the sense, uh, you know, you're confined to four walls. You're waiting for customers to to walk in. I said, hey, why not? I want to be a bit more proactive, and uh, it's also uh, fitting to my uh, my personality as well, a bit more outgoing. 
so I decided, hey, I need to do something in the area of uh, marketing and sales. And since I'm pharmacist, uh, why not a marketing and sales of uh, pharmaceutical uh, product? So uh, with that dream in mind, during my third year, I in fact uh, charted out the career path. So if I want to own a business, uh, pharmaceutical business, there are a few skill that skill set that I need to acquire. The first skill set will be you know the selling skills. I need to sell, right? And after selling skills, I need to acquire the marketing skills. Um, um, and and that, that's how it started. As you know, uh, selling skills is. Uh, one-to-one, -one, you knock on the door, you go in, you pitch for sales, you close the deal, and it's one-to-one. -one. Whereas marketing is a bit a more, um, a bit more productive in a sense. Uh, you plan out, uh, you know, your marketing plan, and uh, you basically uh, focusing on the activity of uh, one to many in marketing. You plan out something, and then when you execute it, you are reaching out to more people instead as of as many as possible. Yeah, yeah, as many as possible instead of the one-to-one. For example, in marketing, you uh, you you design a uh, advertisement, right? And um, and the next day, once the advert is published, will be viewed by thousands, if not millions, of people. That's what I meant by one too many. So from sales, I move on to marketing, and uh, and after that, I found that hey, be it in sales or marketing, you are bound by twenty four hours. Actually, there's still a limitation. Right? So how to be more productive? And later on, from sales to marketing, I've acquired the third uh, skill, which is the, the leadership skills. Basically, leadership skills is uh, you are able to, uh, uh, you're able to paint a future state of where do you want to go, where do you want to bring the people. And when you look back, there are people following you. Yeah, this kind of uh, skill set, I call it the leadership skills. So these are three skill set that I've uh, chat out before I venture into the business, before talking about the entrepreneurship. Yeah. So this is a final year <laughs> university? Final year, yeah. So how did I get it is, uh, I spent a lot of time talking to my seniors. Uh, you know, uh, even those seniors who graduated from uh, the university, I still kept in touch with them. And uh, they are the one who gave me the idea, you know, instead of venturing to retail, there's another option, which is uh, venturing into uh, marketing and sales. So started with a dream. And yeah, then, uh, and, <laughs> and um, you know, upon graduation, I was uh, attached to University Hospital. Uh, I did my, we call it the pre-registration training because I need to be registered with the pharmacist, the pharmacy board of Malaysia to obtain the license to practice as a pharmacist. So I worked in a University Hospital as a pupil pharmacist for about a year plus. And uh, after obtaining my, uh, uh, my, my certificate, uh, as a registered pharmacist and um, you now I started to work and my first job is doing sales. Yeah, I was carrying bags in Penang, your hometown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, carrying bags, uh, going around, uh, visiting doctors, doctors in clinics, in hospitals, para hospitals, government hospitals and also visiting pharmacists as well in a retail pharmacy. That's how I started. Yeah, and um, uh, I spent about uh, two years in, uh, in sales in the north, yeah, in the north. And, and uh, if you can sell in Penang, you yes. can sell anywhere because Penang people are notoriously yeah. careful yes, with their yes, money. Yes, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. I, I, I learned a lot actually uh, during my first uh, two years uh, in uh, Penang, you know, in, in sales. I get to meet the different type of uh, customers or the healthcare professionals and uh, that really boosts up my, my confidence as well. So after two years of uh, selling uh, experience, I move on and uh, I move on to become uh, uh, a regional uh, product manager uh, based in Kuala Lumpur but covering uh, a few countries. Uh, those days I was working for uh, a small uh, French uh, pharmaceutical company, right? So being the um, marketing manager uh, in charge of uh, a few countries, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Hong Kong, uh, Thailand and Indonesia. That's how I, I, I got the opportunity to travel in the region and get exposed get exposed to the region uh, in uh, Southeast Asia and also Hong Kong those days. Yeah. Uh, so from sales, I move on to uh, marketing and I learn a lot as well. You know, with the regional uh, exposure, um, that really uh, shaped my foundation actually in sales and uh, marketing. And I got married at the at the age of. 28, I think 28 or 29. Um, so 1993, 
uh, I got married and my wife said, you know, being a, a, a regional uh, marketing manager, I travel a fair bit, yeah, uh, almost two weeks uh, in a month away from uh, home. So when I got married, my wife said, hey, no, you can't do that kind of traveling anymore. <laughs> so uh, kill you. Yeah, it should kill me. <laughs> and I came back and uh, I assumed a different role. Huh? Uh, became the country manager looking after the Malaysian o- operation, which is uh, uh, a small operation for this uh, French uh, pharmaceutical company. So that's how I, I get all, uh, I acquire all my skill set in sales, marketing and uh, leadership, you know, being a country manager in charge of a small team, not just a sales and marketing team, in charge of the regulatory affairs, finance uh, team as well. That's where I acquired the skill set, yeah. So how did this start? I think um, uh, the, the break came, opportunity meets I think it's preparation and uh, and the courage to take action. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. The balls, right? <laughs> the balls. Yeah. Because when you get somewhere senior, you got yes. perks, you got salary. Yes. And then you think to yourself, oh, I'm quite safe here, right? Yes, yes, and then, yes. Oh, I gotta give it all up and then take a pay cut. Yes. Maybe work for nothing yes. for the first few months, and you must have savings as well. Yes. Or you have to find someone to back you. Yes. Yeah. So, um, well. Um, um, yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, has not been uh, easy to make the decision to to venture out. You know, more so when you talk to your your loved ones. Um, you know, my parents would say, "Hey, you, you, you earn a good income. You know, you drive a continental car. You are very comfortable. You're flying. Uh, you know, almost every month. Uh, why do you want to venture out? You know, uh, yeah. But the desire uh, to to make it in life, you know, those days when I said make it in life is uh, to have the money, the, the money, the, yeah. the money. Yeah, it was so strong. I said, okay, no matter what you said, I'm going to uh, give it uh, a, a try and I venture out. I venture out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the opportunity came when my pre- the, the previous employer that I worked for, right, um, started to approach me. I worked for this um, French company for about uh, six years plus, six years, and I joined a Taiwanese company. Uh, so after joining the Taiwanese company, the French company came and approached me, hey, are you interested in uh, taking out the distributorship of uh, their range of uh, small product? That's how it started. Yeah, that's how it started. So then you said, okay, I'll do this on my own. Yeah, they, they, they told me that uh, they want to have a different approach, uh, you know, uh, to 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 grow in uh, Asia, you know, uh, the smaller countries, for example, Malaysia, Singapore, and uh, those days uh, they included Hong Kong as well. They want to uh, work with the distributors so that they can uh, focus all their resources in the big countries like the Indonesia, uh, uh, Korea, China, and all that. That's where I got the opportunity. And um, so how it started, I think uh, the opportunity, opportunity meeting the unprepared, and uh, also, I I took the plunge. I took the plunge. So that's You're how you also mentally started. ready like, at the time. Mentally right? ready. Yeah. So in terms of startup capital, how how did you do? Um, it? I still remember those days. Uh, when we start up, my wife was uh, working those days. Uh, yeah. Uh, she was uh, with the bank. Yeah, working with the bank, and uh, she became my partner. And uh, before I start, uh, basically we have an uh, agreement. Uh, she'll continue to work in the bank, and I'm going to venture out. And uh, we sold, uh, we invested in an apartment actually, uh, in somewhere in KL. And uh, we sold the apartment, and uh, also I, I saved some money. And also, I think those days are a bit uh, lucky. Uh, uh, before 1997, I make some money from the stock market with uh, the seed money of about uh, 200 uh, plus. Uh, that's how we started the uh, business. And how old were you? I was 32, 33. Yeah, 32, yeah that's 33. a good age, right? That's yeah, that's a good, a good age. age. Yeah. Yes. You, got, you still got energy. Yes. Uh, you still have the idealism. Yes. Children or chat? Children, yes. We had our second kid. I have four kids, by the way. Oh, very well <laughs> done. Kids, yes. So yeah. you took the plunge with yes. two children. And that's yes. a big thing because yes. some people with their children, yeah. uh, you know, the, the risk profile goes up. Yes, uh, but I'm a bit fortunate uh, in the sense that my, 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 my wife was uh, working and I uh, was uh, holding a quite high position in the bank. And uh, she's able to uh, support the family, so I can venture out. Okay, uh, so with one's the problem. stable, then yeah. one takes the risk, right? I take, uh, yeah, I took the risk. Yes, I took do, the do risk. You, do you think? Do you think entrepreneurs are made, or do you think they're born? 
I suppose are both, both, yeah. Uh, born, uh, you know, as an entrepreneur, as uh, born with, um, uh, uh, you know, whatever we do, you must have the courage. I suppose uh, yeah. you're born into uh, 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 with, the, with with the courage. Uh, yeah. You know, a lot of people they're born with the courage uh, to do a lot. They they're going to try new things. Uh, yeah. You know, but at the same time, I think a big percentage of it is uh, is uh, is made as well. You know, it's the environment uh, that uh, shape uh, who we are, and also the type of the the group of people that uh, we uh, mix with. Uh. Yeah, so I think that's more made than uh, born, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so because yeah. some people think yeah. that, especially the yeah. Chinese, uh, they yes. say that the Chinese are born businessmen. Yeah. I, do, you uh, think, do you think that's true? I think it's not born, but it's more of the culture, I think. It's the environment, yeah. right? Because everybody else is doing their own yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, own, yeah. Uh, right? yeah. You know, uh, being Chinese, right? You know, whenever we gather during a Chinese New Year, when your uncle asks you, hey, what are you doing now? Right when you tell them, hey, uncle, I started my own uh, business, you know, without asking, uh, are you making money or not? They say, oh, well done, you know, you started a business. That's how it started. Yeah, you know, for Chinese, uh, always want to start something to have something whereby we can they call, call it our own. Yeah, own. yeah. yeah. we yeah. call the shot. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, yeah. So I think it's uh, more uh, uh, made and uh, influenced by the surrounding and the culture than uh, born. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. the culture of, of just the environment of all your friends, right? Yes, and also the friends as well. You're right. Also yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. So the first years, how was it? The first year has been tough. Uh, started in uh, 1997. Um, that was a pretty bloody that was hard a year, before, man. That was before the Asian financial crisis, actually. I think it started uh, 1st July 1997. You know, the crisis started in uh, September 1997. Yeah. In October, then the whole thing went boom, right? It started in uh, Thailand, actually. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the Thai bar, crisis. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Thai bar, uh devalued. Yeah. yeah. And it's only spread to Malaysia, I think, towards the end of 1997 or beginning of uh, 1998. Yeah. So, uh, what's the blessing in disguise? I started in 1997. I don't, I, I don't see any sign that the crisis is uh, coming. September, uh, no, uh, July uh, 1997, when Hong Kong was uh, handed back to China. Yeah, the Hong Kong handed over the was date. July. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you started the business. If you had known that the financial crisis was going to hit, would you have started the business? No, I may right? not. I may right? not. <laughs> That's why I said uh, blessing in disguise. Uh, you know, I started the business uh, you know, a few months before the crisis started in, uh, in uh, Thailand. Yeah. You know, when the Thai bud uh, devalued in Thailand and it only affect Malaysia uh, sometime end of 1997 and uh, 1998. You know, I still remember, the, you know, it was a tough time. Um, the ringgit, you know, the sales was good. The sales was good. Okay, so you could move the product. Sorry? You could move the product. It yeah, we can move the product. The sales was good. Yeah, the sales was not an issue. But the problem is uh, the margin uh, is being uh, eroded because of the devaluation of the, the, the ringgit, the currencies, yeah. yeah. I still remember uh, those days. Because it was pegged at 3.8, right? Yeah, that Lost was value uh, from my saving grace. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I still remember the highest I paid was uh, one US dollar I paid with 4.8 ringgit. Holy shit, yeah. And uh, and uh, they will still talk about, hey, I see you at five. Yeah. Meaning yeah, yeah. one US dollars to five, five ringgit. ringgit. Those yeah. were the period. Yeah. So it was, uh, was tough. Uh, um, I'm grateful that I managed to uh, pull through and uh, persevere because all the money is in already. What can I do? Yeah. Uh, continue to persevere yeah. and uh, hang in there. So and the break came when the country declared uh, capital control. Oh, okay. Yeah, so capital that was control. a break for you? There was a break for me. Capital control. Uh, they prevent the outflow of the money and also pack the ringgit to the US dollars to 3.8. So that was a break from for for me. Why uh, was that good for you? Good for me because uh, I know what is the cost of my goods. Uh, you know, uh, before that I thought, uh, you know, yes, the ring are devalued. Hey, why not I negotiate with my supplier, and I try to delay the payment without knowing that uh, the more I delay, the more the, it, the worse it we, gets. The, yeah. yeah, the worse it it, it gets lah. And every day I got to call the bank. Hey, what's the rate now? What is the rate yeah, now? Yeah. You know, and I try to become a, a currency trader. Which well. you cannot do because <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. focus on the on the on the on the business. Every yeah. day you're, you're worrying about the hedge, right? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. So was that the toughest point in that in those early years? Uh, those early years were one of the toughest. Yeah, but I think the main challenge is still, uh, you know, being a, a, a startup, a new company, right? 
um, the main challenge is, uh, you know, people don't trust you. People don't trust you. When I say people, um, uh, if I want to get stuff, this, the staff don't trust me. Hey, this yeah. is a new company, you know. Is my job I, safe? Yeah, is my job safe or not? You know, currency, uh, the crisis is here. You know, are they going to pay my uh, ETF or not? Are they going to pay my salary or not? Right? So, difficult to get stuff. That is uh, one of the, the, the biggest uh, challenge. And uh, what other challenges, you know, trust. The customers also may not trust you. Hey, are you okay or not? It's a new startup, you know. Can you be trusted or not? Are your product uh, uh, of uh, good quality or not? Yeah. You know, the trust is not being a new uh, company and small and a startup company. And the suppliers as well, they said, hey, I want money down first yeah. before I supply yeah. you the goods. You Commit know, trust. To, the, to the stock, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Then you, you don't want to. They're worried. <laughs> they give you the flow, stocks. Right? Uh, whether they are going to, uh, we are going to pay them or not. Yeah. They, are, they are worried about that. Yeah, and uh, what else? Even the bank as well. I mean, uh, those days I still remember that uh, we we want to apply for additional, you know, uh, hedging facility. Just hedging, hedge. not even hedging. lines. Not even lines. Hedging. They also ask for hey, you give me a bit of a collateral. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's so trust is uh, yeah. is a big challenge uh, those days difficult to get stuff customers uh, don't really uh, trust us and uh, being small as well uh, they try to squeeze us uh, so all the time, uh, right? yeah all the time yeah so that is uh, one of the the, the, the biggest uh, uh, challenge uh, which is uh, trust yeah so how many years was, was it like that um, for about the three Three years plus, yeah, and uh, uh, three years after starting the business, uh, things are a bit are more s settled. The currency is a bit more stable at the three point eight. The, the the sales are continue to to grow, and uh, we, we 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 did well. We did well, and uh, we started to uh, expand the business. And uh, three to five years uh, later, and the direction of the company. Uh, uh, still the same, yeah. We want to grow the business, uh, uh, but the purpose is a slightly different. When we first started, it's uh, all about uh, making money, making money. But three, four years later, uh, when the 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 money is a bit more uh, stable, and uh, the purpose has started to change. So instead of uh, just uh, making money, and uh, you know. Uh, the purpose uh, that we set for ourselves is uh, is uh, beyond the uh, market money making. Uh, we want to make a difference in uh, people's life, yeah, especially the patients' life, yeah, and also making a difference in the employees' uh, life as well. The stuff. Why yeah. did you change your line of thinking? What made you change your line of thinking? <laughs> That's very interesting. Uh, because um, you know, after a few years, uh, when the company is uh, doing well. And I found that uh, you know uh, to uh, to maintain my lifestyle, I don't really need a lot of money, and, uh, and it, it doesn't become a, a, a main a motivator anymore. It doesn't anymore add money. more to your happiness yeah, quotient, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I I felt like uh, you know I'm just a money making machine, and uh, you know money is <laughs> just, uh, just yeah, it's wait, just wait, wait. paper. Yeah, Seeming, so yeah. So. <laughs> You felt like you were just a money making machine. Yeah. yeah. A hundred a hundred million people would love to be like to be a money making machine, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you want you wanted to find meaning, lah. I, I want to find meaning in uh, yeah. in uh, in in the business so instead you, of just uh, making money. I think the money has to be a mean to an end. So you were already end. financially successful, but then you yes. wanted to have significance to that. Yes, significance and uh, to contribute to the uh, to the community and uh, also the uh, society. Yeah. But what triggered it? Because a lot of people are, you know, uh -huh. in circles, right? Yes. Just make money and then just enjoy life, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Why look for the significance? Yeah, I, I, I think partly it's also because, you know, when we first started, um, you know, uh, difficult to get stuff, right? And uh, uh, it's very transactional. People come just for the money. Yeah. And later on, I found that, hey, I think we need to go beyond money. Yes, I, got to, I want to pay them well. People want to be driven and motivated by yeah, a higher cause, right? Yeah, higher cause. And also, I want to upskill them, you know, get them to learn and grow. That's how I'm going to make a difference in the lives of the uh, employee. Yes, money is important, but I want to go beyond that. I want to make sure that they learn and grow uh, together with uh, with me. Because 
I believe uh, we will only be happy if every day we feel that we are learning and growing. Money is just a byproduct. Ah, yeah, okay. money so is just a byproduct. A lot of people that yeah. make that mistake. They yes. think that money is it. That's it, right? Just make the cash yes. and, and happiness will fall from the sky. Yes, yes. It doesn't happen that way. Yeah. So, so, so to me, I always believe in uh, if we continue to make ourselves from a, a smaller container to become a bigger container, you can receive, you are able to attract more money. Yeah. yeah so uh, how how do we transform from a small container to a big container is to continue to to learn and grow. So uh, uh, with that in mind, uh, started to change a bit of the purpose is to uh, make a difference in the people's life. Uh, start with the employee's life and then later on the customers and also the patient's life. And now we are talking about that we want to reach out to the community. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just just rewind a little bit, okay? Because mm. um, the realization that happiness doesn't come from yeah. just pure financial success, mm-hmm. right? Mm. Um, you realize actually personally, and I know a lot of successful mm-hmm. businessmen, mm. they don't have very uh, uh, f- flashy lives. Uh, they don't drive like a Rolls Royce. They don't yeah. have an apartment in London. I mean, some do. Yeah. Um, but these are guys, SME millionaires like you, yes. uh, who have, I don't know, net worth 10 100 million, I'll just say, yes. right? Yes. You look like them in a coffee shop, but yes. you don't know they're rich one, you know. Yeah. So, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is typical. It's yeah. typical of, yeah. the, of the SME yeah. businessman. Yeah. But the, for me, I, um, you know, I try to add some colors to my life. You know, from driving a, a, a Camry, I quickly uh, move on to a Volvo. From a <laughs> Volvo, I, yeah, Camry to a Volvo. From a Volvo, I move on to uh, to a, a, a two or three uh, Beamer, and uh, from a two or three Beamer, and uh, I move on uh, um, uh, to a Porsche. Yeah, but I realize that actually, it's just yeah. a vehicle yeah. to bring you from one yeah. point to another point. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> and uh, how old were you when you realized that? In my um, in my early forties, actually. In that's my a early forties. That's yes. a good. That's a good age yes, for awakening, for enlightenment. Yes. Yeah. And also, I built a house. We bought a piece of land, and uh, we built a home. Um, you know, three-story home. And um, after some time, I realized that uh, you know, it's a nine thousand square feet I built up. I realized that I only spend time in about uh, 1,000, 1,005 <laughs> square feet of space. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. yeah I, I, you know, you know um, some members of Tropicana Golf Club, right? Yes, yes. They have these huge bloody mansions there. Eh? Yeah. 25 rooms, yeah. uh, 25,000 yeah. square feet. Yeah. Tycoon lah. Yeah. yeah. Then the children leave the house. Yes. They get married. They go and yes. live in London. They can yes. move away, right? Yes. Left the wife, yes. the husband, the maid, yes. and the driver. Yes. They want to try and sell the house. Cannot sell the yeah. house. <laughs> it's too expensive. Yeah, so yeah. they're stuck and they live literally live in yeah, the house yeah. in one room, one study, yeah. and kitchen. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's when I, I, I felt that, you know, yeah, nice car. It made me happy for a few months. Uh, yeah. But after that, it's just another car. Yeah. And the house, uh, yeah, big house, but I only really spend time in a, a small <laughs> space. Yeah. So uh, that's what I meant by, um, you know, it's uh, not that difficult to meet my, uh, my, 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 my needs. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, to continue to motivate me, I think I need to go beyond the money. Yeah, but uh, I don't dream to to have my own uh, private jet. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's, that's, a bit that's, extreme, that's right? beyond uh, this. Um, that's not what I'm uh, looking for. La. Yeah. So I just want to be uh, contribute to the uh, society and also the uh, community. So the business is uh, an, a mean to an end. Yeah, uh, the end is uh, to make the world a better world. Uh, you know, uh, contributing to the, uh, especially the young adult, uh, to upskill them uh, so that uh, they are able to take charge of their destiny. I think that will make me uh, happy. Yeah. Okay, so you come to this realization yeah. quite young. A lot of people they don't even when they're sixty the something they don't yeah they don't even realize yes. right what happiness really means yes. right. Yeah. Um, I think you've, you've hit it on the head. If you can yeah. somehow enrich the people yes. around you, yes. then you're onto something, okay? Yes. So what are your um, pieces of advice yes. to the young person? What should they know now? Uh-huh. What can you tell them at your stage now yes. that they should have known that they don't make the, the mistakes? Okay. Um, I think the young adult now, um, even the millennial, 
uh, it's important for them to figure out. I know it's not easy, you know, to figure out uh, what is their purpose uh, in uh, in life. Yeah, uh, a lot of them uh, they don't have a clue actually what is their purpose in life. But those who know what is their purpose in life, and uh, they stick on to the purpose, and uh, they can do quite well. They are able to take charge of their life. Okay. Right. So that's a good reason for that because yes. once you know what you have to do, yes. then you can execute well. Yes. But how do you ascertain your purpose? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. to ascertain the purpose uh, is uh, something very difficult. So ended up a lot of the young adult they say that oh I I'm I'm still figuring out what is my purpose uh, in life. I still life. meet some people in the fifties. Yeah, in the fifties. Yeah, yes. Whoever. Yeah. Yeah. So my advice to this group of people will be, uh, you know, uh, as long as you have a certain inclination to certain purpose, pen it down, pen it down. Write it and down. Yeah. Talk to people, and along the way, you may tweak it a bit. Right? And one fine day, you're going to find your real uh, purpose uh, in life. So when you're in third year university, yeah. yes. right? Yes. How did you, what was your purpose? What did you tell yourself? What was your purpose in life? When I first started, was uh, the purpose in my life was making money. Okay. Yeah, money. So bur- because the main, driver, the, yeah. the main driver is money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, put but food on the table. Yeah, put food on the, the table, bank. yes. Yeah. yeah. Not just put food on the table and uh, beyond that, yeah. yeah. Uh, because uh, comfortable, financially comfortable. Comfortable, yes. Yeah. You know, uh, I I share with you. You know, my friends I get to study overseas. You know, whereas for me I need to study in a local U. Yeah, so I I I I, I told How, myself. Was that, was that a big thing for you that you were somehow not given the opportunity? Yes. You felt to me it's a it, big thing it for me. Screwed up. It screwed. Yes. It, 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 it did yes. something inside. <laughs> yes, inside. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you know, after my form five, I did uh, quite well. About eight or ten, eight or nine aces in my form five, and uh, I followed my friends. Uh, you know, and wrote myself in uh, Taylor's. Uh, those is Taylor's College, I think, uh, along uh, Jalan uh, Pantai uh, Dalam. Yeah, but my buddies, once the result form five result is out, they further their studies. Whereas for me, I've been called back uh, to do my form six. How do you uh, feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then you can. So at a very man, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. At a very young age, uh, I get to feel and see the difference between the haves and uh, have not. Yeah. So that was the main it's a big thing, right? Yes. It's a big thing. Yeah, so that fired thing. your yes. the career the rest of your life. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so purpose. Purpose is number one. Yes. Right, so else? the the main purpose is uh, 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 making money. But later on, I found that I think uh, the purpose got to go beyond uh, money making. Yeah. 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 So you have, but you have to. You still got to go through the stage of make the money first, then yes. understand the yes. limitations of the money. Yes. Before then, because you can't leapfrog one, right? No, you can't, you no. can't, Yeah, you got to yeah. do it first, right? Yes. Okay. So message to the young, right? Yes. Find your purpose. Yes. What else? Um, finding your purpose, and uh, I think after that, uh, you know, I always believe in uh, you know one of the habits of uh, the seven habits of a highly effective people. Covey. Begin, Stephen Covey. Uh, Stephen Covey. Okay. Begin with an end in mind. Begin with an end in mind. Uh, so once so you figure you out your purpose, so I guess you read the book from cover to cover, right? I read it a few times. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does uh, help me a lot. Yeah. So uh, you know, uh, once you know the purpose, I think you need to set your your career goal. That is the end in mind. Your career goal. You know, yeah. 15, 20 years or twenty years down the road, who do you want to be? You know, in terms of your career. So from there, you're going to figure out what is your career path. What skill set you need to acquire. Before you can achieve your your career goal, yeah. So uh, so for the young adult, uh, if possible, they write down, you know, uh, what do they want to achieve for themselves based on their strength and also their academic qualification, right? To figure out what is their ideal uh, career vision, and then from there they work out how to achieve that goal. Yeah. How to achieve that goal. Right, and what are the skill set they need to acquire before they can achieve that goal? Just like how you did it, yeah. That's that's how I did With it. Your you know, skills, right? Yeah, the three sales, marketing, and leadership, and leadership, and uh, later on the entrepreneurship as well. Yeah, the four skill set uh, that I've uh, acquired before yeah, starting the, the business. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boring guy, right? <laughs> no, no, I won't. But that's, that's that's how you do it. Um, okay, number three. Sorry. Have your purpose. Have a purpose. Begin with the end in mind. Uh huh. Number three. And stick to your purpose and your career goal. Don't be, that means bef- 
be very focused on achieving it. Don't be distracted by uh, other things. Yeah. Yeah, I see this Stay so many times. Focus, right? focus, focus. This guy yeah. who, who 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 built his fortune and say, yes. furniture manufacturing. Yes. Then he thinks he can become property developer. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Or then yeah. he can go to telco or something. Yes. Hello. Yes. Right. Yeah. Always focus on uh, our core competency and uh, also our purpose and uh, uh, and our vision as well. Yeah, don't get uh, ourselves uh, uh, off focus and uh, distracted. Yeah. <laughs> so, so did you ever have this like number in mind? Like, okay, you know how people always have a like a, a mm. retirement money, right? Um, <laughs> I, you know, everybody always has this number, right? When you're thirty years old, oh shit, I want to retire when I'm forty with ten million, right? Did you ever have that? Um, you know, um, I don't have a specific number in mind. Uh, but one of my close friends uh, used to tell me, you know, uh, assuming when you retire at the age of 55, you know, those days, uh, 55 yeah, is the retirement age. age right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you retire <laughs> at uh, 55, you are ordinary. La. But if you can retire at the age of 45, you are somebody. Yeah. <laughs> it is, no, it's true. He's, he was right. right. He was right. He was yeah. right. So uh, I had that in mind for, for, for some time. Yeah. Uh, just on the age, but uh, not the money. Not the money. Not the money. Yeah. And still, is that still the case? Yeah. 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 I think now um, I enjoy doing what I'm doing, uh, meaning I uh, enjoy uh, working with the group of uh, young adult in my, my leadership team in the, in the company and also the young adult in the company. I enjoy going to uh, office uh, every day by 8, 8.15. I'll be in office. We start work at uh, 8.30. <laughs> so I really enjoy doing that. Uh, but I don't think I will re retire because yeah. I enjoy doing yeah. it, yeah, and uh, enjoy contributing uh, to the uh, to the young adult, and also um, uh, enjoy a bit of you know the yeah. power that you have, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> able yeah. to make a decision yeah, in yeah, a yeah, company. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Lee Kuan Yew said, "The uh, day you stop working is the yeah. day you die." Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I yeah. think that's one of the reasons why uh, Mahathir is still yeah. alive because yes. he always kept his mind yes. working. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I will uh, continue to <coughs> drive the company, but maybe we'll be playing a different role. Yeah, uh, um, not not the day-to-day -day, uh, operation, uh, but more uh, you know, uh, talking about the future planning for future uh, to build the company to last, uh, to be the leading uh, healthcare group uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. Did you yeah. ever have an opinion on on equity, like? Um you know, mm -hmm. would you would you be one of those people? And there's mm -hmm. lots of them who mm -hmm. never want to sell their shares in the business uh -huh. because once you do that, you lose control. Yes, you Are lose you, control. Yeah. What, what's your opinion on equity? Uh, equity that means uh, to part with the the, the shares yeah, of the so company. So I presume yeah. now you own the business outright. Yes. Yes. And then yes. you see yourself five percent, ten percent. Then suddenly, shit. Then you got to report to this guy, right? Even though he's minority, you still yeah, got to right. right? I think if you want to bring a partner into the business, uh, there must be for a very uh, for a, a, a good reason. Uh, yeah, if not, if you can uh, still manage it all by yourself, uh, it's better to take control of the business because it's uh, it's easier to run the business that way uh, rather than having a partner in the in the business and uh, uh, having have to deal with another Correct. another partner. So it's not easy to to move the even the though business. they're minority, you still gotta get their opinion. Yeah, thing, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, whenever possible, take full control of of the business. Uh, and yeah. stay in full control. Full control. Full control. Yeah. The, unless, unless unless you need to catch additional. Up money or, or expertise, then you got no choice. Yeah. You got no choice. Or you want to cash yeah. out, right? Yeah. Or you want to cash out. Yeah. yeah. You got no choice. Yeah. Uh, for us now, I think we're still quite comfortable. Um, our gearing is uh, still not that high. Um, yeah. So uh, well, we are still very much uh, in uh, in control, uh, my wife and, uh, and I. And um, uh, later on, if we need, uh, we will borrow more from the bank. Uh, until the day the bank uh, tell us that hey, it's too risky to loan you money, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's already the max. Yeah. Uh, if we max out the borrowing, then maybe uh, we'll look into uh, getting some fund from either uh, angel investor or before you even talk about the, the yeah. private uh, equity. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, well, uh, we we hope to get some investor just to 
give us the money and uh, let us run the the, the business uh, ourselves. I think you're too yes. mature for yeah. angel capital already, lah. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know? But or the other uh, the other option will be you know get a PE to come in, but to make sure that the the, the private equity can uh, add value to the company yeah, uh, yeah, before yeah. we we go for. Uh, the f- the final phase will be you know to 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 float the the company in the mm. in the market yeah yeah and then we, to raise fund from the public that yeah. will be the last uh, yeah. at which point then you kind of like you you have quarterly earnings you got reporters asking you questions yeah. and oh my god shareholders and AGMs when the fund manager call me hey let's go for lunch uh, oh please. shit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fund yeah. manager call is yeah. good news and bad news la. yeah, yeah. It, it, wow yeah if you, yeah can can be good news and it can be bad news yeah yeah, yeah most of the time is is the bad news hey what is going on you're yeah, not can performing you please explain <laughs> nah? why are you not meeting the numbers right yeah yeah uh, why so, are you investing in this you know yeah. uh, you invested how many million in the office uh, why yeah. do you do that that does yeah. that translate right. into bottom right. line <laughs> yeah i've seen your office if you yes. are listed uh, can you spend that much money <laughs> Tough, right? You've got to justify yeah. every yeah. single cent. Yeah, right? you got to justify every single cent. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so you've got four children, right? I have four children, yes. Are they are they fully like versed in the rules and principles of entrepreneurship? Do you talk business at home with them? Um, what what wisdom I, do you impart to them? I, I, I do. I try to impart some values, some core values in uh, them uh, based on my, my, my core values. Uh, I always believe in uh, you know to make life uh, interesting and uh, exciting. Uh, we need to uh, innovate all the time in whatever we do. Yeah, not just in business, in our personal life. So, innovating all the time will be meaning always think of ways to make things uh, better, faster, and more cost effective. That's make lives uh, interesting. Yeah. So, how do you in- innovate personally? <laughs> Sorry. How, how do you personal? How do you innovate personally? Uh, in in the business or personal? Personal. Personal. Um, I give you an example. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, let, let's say my golf. Yeah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, I spend a lot of time on golf. That's yes. a thing, right? Yes, that is yes. a thing. Yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, I always, I always have a a, a, a pro with me. Yeah, a, a pro with me. Fantastic. Yes. That's uh, how you do it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, I, I have a pro to help me uh, with the the impact. I have a pro uh, to help me with a bit of the the swing and also the short game and all that. Yeah, so, so I, different I have, pros all the time. Always have one, but de- depending on the need, yeah. So, okay, so once short I game, yeah, short game, once I improve on that, then I move on to a different uh, pro. Yeah, always try to think of ways. Uh, you know, how do I improve? Yeah, move to the next uh, level. That is uh, about life. In business, uh, yeah, always challenge my people uh, to uh, to set a uh, smart goals. Always uh, set a stretch goal, because uh, with a stretch goal you will innovate with a stretch goal. Yeah. But if you set a, 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 a easy you know, a goal, you, it doesn't excite you actually. Yeah. You're not going to uh, innovate. Yeah, yeah. So one of the ways to innovate will be uh, to challenge yourself uh, to set a stretch uh, goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so innovate all the time. Try to impart to the children to make their life more interesting and uh, exciting. And also conduct ourselves uh, with, uh, with uh, integrity. Yeah, uh, uh, that's what Adrian also said. In fact, yeah. most businessmen will tell you, yeah. it's, it, you know how people think, yes. oh, it's your network of friends who you know, yes. bullshit, bullshit. Yes, they have the your business partners and yes. your staff have to trust you. Yes, they gotta believe that you can do the yes. shit that you say you're gonna do. Yes, right. Yeah, so day in day out. Yeah, deliver what we promise deliver and also promise. do the right thing and uh, also defending what is right. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it may cause uh, pain and uh, money, yeah, yeah, we still want to do what is right. Yeah. Yeah. To be a person of integrity, very important. Yes. So that's how I'm going to impart it to my children, you know, uh, innovation, integrity, and also um, uh, the third value is that, uh, you know, whatever they do, they got to take a personal responsibility instead of uh, blaming other people. Uh, yes. you know, they, they accountability. Got to take accountability. Yeah. And uh, they got to be accountable uh, for their own uh, development uh, as well. Yeah. Do you think that if your parents were not yeah. as financially well uh, or, uh, or financially badly off, would you uh, think that you'll still be the right, the, the same person you are now? Wouldn't be right. I think it would be different. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be different. Because you'd be much because the more motivation will be uh, will be will be different. Correct. Yeah. So so now one generation off, <laughs> right? Because yes. there's a Chinese thing, right? Yes. First generation makes the money. Yes. Second generation, what? 
um, uh, gets gets a bit sp- comfortable, yeah. spoiled. Yeah. Third generation waste the money. Yeah, right? waste the money. Yep. Okay, yeah. so cannot yeah. last so ha, three cannot generation, last generations, right? right? So how do you get around that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a it's, tough, it's tough one, right? <laughs> But it's, it's a real life issue now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a real life uh, issue now. Because yeah. you don't want to give them too much as well. You give them too much, you'll get spoiled. Yeah. And they're not hungry. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, we make sure that we don't spoil our children. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, especially my wife, um, you know, whenever I try to spoil my children by buying some branded goods for them. Don't buy branded My goods. Brand, no, yeah. not the branded one. The ordinary one is good enough. Yeah. 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 And, um, but we are not, uh, um, we are generous with, uh, with uh, spending on their education. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we go for holiday, but uh, we don't fly them uh, business class. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We no, don't, no, no, never, no, 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 no. You sit at the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so you yeah, guys we, fly we, business, they yeah, sit at the yeah, back. Yeah, sit at the back. So we, we don't really uh, spoil them. And also, um, you know, uh, don't give them the impression that, you know, whatever we have uh, made is it's going to pass on theirs. to them. It's yeah. theirs. It's not yeah. theirs. Yeah. It's not theirs. It's not theirs. Yeah. It's yeah. not theirs. Yeah. And also for the business as well. Uh, 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 currently, my business is run by uh, a, a group of uh, leaders, uh, key leadership team and the leadership team. Uh, you know, uh, my, 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 my children are not in the business uh, today, uh, they don't. Um, they they don't are not have, entitled. Yeah, they don't have automatic. Automatic uh, to automatic high position yeah. in in the company. If they want to come to the company, they must be very passionate about it, and uh, they must be uh, uh, able and uh, capable. If not, uh, don't don't come to the business. It's better to get the professional to run the business. So hopefully, with that, if the business is run by a group of uh, capable uh, professional, I think can last for for a long, for a long, long time. time. Yeah. You know when you look at your kids now, right? Yes. And then you remember what you're like when you're 18, 19, 20. Mm-hmm. Do you think they they are as hungry as you were, as as no as motivated as no. you were? No. I think uh, kids uh, today, uh, they pursue their passion. You know, during my generation, uh, on the day I, I, I graduate from school, the next day I'm going to look for a job. Yeah. yeah. No break. Yeah, no break. No time off. But my children, they'll be talking about uh, that. I need a gap year. <laughs> <laughs> a gap year? Are you sell or you? Sell you? Sell or you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're talking about uh, the gap year. They're talking about their passion. And uh, when we try to uh, steer them, to steer them to a certain uh, direction, you know, oh, that don't put me in the box. Uh, I need to explore. <laughs> 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 yeah. So so uh, yeah, it's very different. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah. So how are you approaching this this issue? To me, I think I, in a way, agree with them that uh, I think uh, it's their life. Uh, they are going to. Uh, I would let them decide what yeah. do they want to do. And but of course, change also, on right? my, yeah, things Sorry? change also, right? Yeah. So on my side, uh, I'll try to influence, but ultimately, I think they are the decision owner. They will make the decision themselves, uh, especially uh, dealing with their lives. Yeah. What do you want to do in life? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, so you're here where you are now, yes. and you, re- I'm sure you, re- you remember with huge, yeah. great clarity what, what you're like when you're 19 years old. Yes. The power of um, Self actualization is so yeah. it's so effective, right? Yes. There's a lot of people who've written books about this, right? Yeah. Having that vision of where you want to be, yes. it comes true, you know. Yes. It comes true, yes. isn't it, right? Yes, yes. Nineteen uh, years old, now you're fifty three, fifty four? Fifty four, fifty five, yeah. Twenty, thirty five, yeah. thirty six yeah. years, right? Yeah. It's come true. Yeah. Every single image you yeah. have came true, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's, that's a, yes, that's, yeah, right. that's the power huge, of uh, right? visualization. Yeah. That's why I always believe in beginning with an end in mind. You need to visualize it. You need to make it as vivid as possible in the mind first. First create it in the mind before you create it uh, in the physical yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, you do everything within your power to make that vision come true, isn't it? Yes, right? and I'm uh, not uh, distracted. You know, yeah. uh, Once I'm uh, off uh, uh, focus, I always bring myself back 
to be uh, on track again. How do yeah. you get the discipline? Uh? Because it's so easy, right? Hey, bro, come now. We're going to start a restaurant now. Oh, my yeah. God. Restaurant is the worst <laughs> thing you can do, right? Hey, come now. We join chain money. Go and do a pub or something. Yeah. I oh, think, my God. I think partly it's because of during my younger days, I play a lot of sports. Uh, you know, I, I represent my state in tennis. Uh, oh, I'm yeah, a very yeah, good uh, tennis uh, player. You know, uh, if you want to do well in tennis, you better stay focused in uh, tennis and uh, instead of uh, you know involving in uh, a lot of uh, other uh, games. Yeah, but uh, now uh, uh, I move on from tennis to to golf. To golf. So yeah. what's your handicap now? My handicap. Well, maybe it's not convenient to take <laughs> betting handicap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, around uh, ten to twelve. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's very good. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Drive. How far do you drive? Uh, about two twenty to two ten to twenty. I don't believe you. <laughs> meters or meters, yeah. of course. Meters. No, not Come yet. on, I yeah, see yeah, this one two eighty two seventy yeah. lah. No, 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 no. I think uh, earlier days I can drive a uh, two thirty two forty two fifty, yeah, but not yeah. not anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just catching up. <laughs> it's just catching up. <laughs> Got to change the equipment as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> just it's about flexibility, right? But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You invest your money. What What do you do? How do you multiply that? Do you, do, you, do you spend any time on investment? Um, you see, I've reached an agreement with my wife. So in the business, yeah. um, I'm taking charge of the business. Okay. Yeah. Also investment, she jaga lah. Yeah, she jaga yeah. investment. Ah, interesting, yeah. interesting. So uh, I think she has done a good job. Uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago, we, she invested a fair bit in, uh, in uh, properties, real estate. And uh, we ride with the, uh, the the wave, yeah. So she has done a a, a good job. Uh, Do you guys flip sense. it out and transact, or you just no keep, no no no? no. We keep, keep yeah. we keep buy and keep buy and keep. Rentals yeah, yeah. and pay off. Rentals. We go yeah. So uh, we we hope for uh, capital uh, uh, appreciation, appreciation, yeah. And uh, of course uh, with the rental uh, return as well. So I think she has done a good job. I managed to get uh, some uh, good uh, properties and uh, giving uh, a decent uh, rental. And the value are uh, appreciated. Just imagine them, those investors that 10, 15 yeah. years ago double or triple. Yeah. It's yeah. a time game, right? Yeah. Was there a strategy like um, shop lots and whatever? Or was that like. Um, so I, I know some people who, yeah. who buy, buy houses, yes. small terrace houses near hospitals yeah. because he likes <laughs> to rent to doctors, okay. right? And yeah. Because they're stable and, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. When we first started, right? Uh, we When we first started with uh, small uh, seed money, uh, we invest in an uh, apartment. Uh, yeah. Okay. Apartment good, or good, condo. Good, good, yeah. good yields, right? Because the yield is better and <coughs> the capital outlay is uh, lower as well. Uh. Yeah. And then later on, we move on from apartments and uh, we move on to uh, office lots. Uh, uh, partly because uh, the, the business uh, need the, the, the space as well. So from there, we invested uh, uh, in an uh, office lot. Uh, but now I think we are focusing on a commercial lot, you know, yeah. shop lot, shop. Yeah. So you're never in the share markets at all. Yes. Also. I, yeah, in yeah. the share market as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm also a long-term uh, investor. Yeah, I look for uh, uh, good uh, stocks, uh, blue chips, uh, yeah. with a uh, good uh, dividend yield. So you you go direct. You don't outsource the job to like a fund manager. No, no. no. I, I I did uh, outsource it lah. Yeah, no but uh, not anymore. Yeah. Uh, I think How I can I go? manage it better. <laughs> 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 Instead of in and out, in and out. Yeah, uh, these guys. Yeah. These guys are not as good yeah. as they say. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So um, I don't think they can beat me uh, in terms of a return. Yeah. So I I I I'm a long term investor. I. Uh, I go for uh, the the good stocks, uh, good dividend, and uh, with uh, good uh, potential uh, of uh, capital uh, appreciation. How do you spot a stock? How do you spot the stocks? <laughs> because you know how, uh, like last time, right? Yeah. Twenty thirty years ago, yes. you buy yes. like you buy Guthrie, right? Yes, yes. Or you buy Sime Darby. Close yeah. eyes, you can make money yes. over the long term, right? But want. you go for the blue to, chips. Uh, to, today, know. today, yeah. come on, right? Today yeah. is it? Is that still real? Well, gunting is still quite good, right? Yeah, of course, uh, lately uh, it's uh, yeah, yeah. gone down. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, main bank, whenever the price is down, okay, so uh, you just do good. those yeah, go for the, the safest ones. Yeah, the safe ones, yeah. 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 But what do you look for when you look at the stock? What do you look for? Uh, I look for uh, uh, a well managed uh, company. Yeah, with a strong uh, management uh, Look at the management team. team. Yeah, and also uh, the management team uh, have uh, uh, a big vision, uh, uh, a big uh, goal to uh, bring the company to the next uh, level. Yeah. 
Interesting that you should mention Genting <laughs> because um, in terms of corporate governance, they haven't really yeah. been the best in recent years. I yeah. just just out of curiosity, yeah. right? Yeah. Someone like you who is such a proper yeah. person who invests in yeah. the future. Okay, from Genting, we yeah. move on to a public bank. Yeah. Okay, so public bank is different, <laughs> right? Different, should, different should, governance. Should we talk profile. about the stocks? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just it's just the, the, the strategy yeah. and the thinking, right? You know, just imagine, right? A uh, public bank, if you invested uh, 15, 20 years ago. Even 30 years ago, yeah, right? The big, big deal. You made a bit. lot of money, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you've ever been to the AGMs, right? Yes. The first bloody slide they show you. Yeah. If you had bought 1,000 shares of public bank yes. in 1968 and yes. one ring at 30 yes. IPO, yes. that thing is bloody worth 2 over million now, yeah. you know? Yeah. Plus yeah, right. splits and bonuses. There's a lot of their senior managers become a multi-millionaire just yeah. by holding the shares of uh, public That's right. That's yeah. right. Okay. So today, what is the strategy? Because today, today, we, yeah. uh, today <clears throat> I think we are still a bit in the stock market, but uh, we try to uh, liquidate. Okay. Because, uh, just not to share. cash off. Uh, yeah, to, to cash out. Um, and uh, the properties, uh, we try to uh, keep uh, the uh, shop lot. Yeah, the rest, uh, we try to liquidate as well. Also. And uh, to try to keep uh, more uh, cash. Why Why? Yeah. Why do you think? Because it's yeah. a bit of a co colder future, you think? Yeah, um, you know, the next uh, one to two years, uh, uh, the, the, the economic uh, outlook is a bit uh, gloomy. I'm mm. not too sure what is going to happen. Yeah, yeah especially with the, uh, you know, what is happening between the Chinese and the, the, the American, you know, the trade war. And the other reason is also because, uh, you know, in the next uh, three to six years, uh, we want to raise some money. Uh, to be involved in some uh, acquisition uh, game for the yeah. business. To regionalize, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. To acquire the, the rights to some products and uh, also to expand the business uh, uh, to the Philippines and uh, maybe Vietnam and uh, Thailand. Yeah. You know, there's some kinds of entrepreneurs <laughs> I've met, right? They yes. go all in. They bet and they bet the house three, four, five, yes. six times. Yes. You know, these are the ones who, yeah. you know, yeah. Are you that kind of guy or no? Not really. I think um, I'm more inclined to, to that. But really? fortunately, really? my wife... She, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she tried to pull me no, back. No, because it, it blows yes. my mind, right? These yes. guys, I mean, you really yeah. made a... Like, yeah. say, okay, talk about Genting, la, yes. Lim Gautong, right? Yes. He bet the house. He yes. made his fortune really, you know, yes. right? Yes. With, yes. His, with his lorries and all yes. that, right? Yes. He bet the bloody house with a hill, you know. Yes. No future yes. one, you know, right? Yes, he yes, just, yes. So, ma, yes. But that's why he made his... Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, he yeah. He made times. it big. Yeah, he made it big. Yeah. But he bet the house. He put all in. <laughs> Everything. Right? Uh, Silent. Oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All in. Right? Yeah. Silent. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, my my wife uh, is uh, trying very hard to keep me, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, balanced. Uh, yeah. So uh, we may not put everything in, yeah, uh, but uh, we are going to put a substantial of uh, uh, money to uh, bring the, the business to the next uh, level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting, man. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, what's the next stage for you then? The next stage for me, uh, we are working on our three-year plan. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't stop. It just keeps on going. Yeah, keep keeps on yeah, going. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, enjoy doing it. Continue to add value to the people, and uh, continue uh, to grow the business to the uh, next level. So currently, we are focusing on uh, three area. Uh, focusing on developing the uh, um, you know uh, the training program, in house training program, and also leadership uh, development uh, program for the people to upskill our people to uh, impart a life skill to our people so that they're ready to move to the next level. Yeah, That's the first focus. Uh, the second focus is, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, I need to raise some money to, uh, to involve in uh, acquisition of uh, product or businesses and uh, expand the business to the other three countries. Currently, we're in uh, Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. So I'm looking into the next three countries, the next phase of uh, growth with the money uh, raised. And the third area that I'm looking at is uh, 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 focusing on uh, building the infrastructure, uh, the digital uh, transformation. Yeah. So we started the digital transformation uh, uh, 1.0, uh, which is build the, the infrastructure before we move on to build the data warehouse and also get the people to acquire the uh, data analytics uh, skill set. 
So ultimately, we want to be a data-driven uh, healthcare company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the next yeah. stage, right? Yeah, that's the yeah. next stage. Yeah. So let's let's end with this. Um, okay. What is the one skill you think people need mm-hmm. to survive in the twenty-first century? One skill that is, is there one superhuman power skill that you need yeah. to get by in in, in yeah. these volatile times? Yeah. I think uh, <coughs> skill, right? Skill. Um, I think uh, the the important thing is uh, you know uh, people need to have the the people skill, uh, okay. that the the EQ, yeah, the EQ. That the differentiates you from quotient. the robots. Yeah, that right? will differentiate you from the robots. Yeah, the the EQ and also. Uh, uh, the skill set linked to uh, creativity, whereby you cannot be replaced by uh, robots, yeah, yeah, or AI. Thank you, thank you. I think what you said is going to help a lot yeah. of people. Thank you, thank you very much, brother. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>